So hello everyone this is Akshay here and today's question name is fra fraction pair with someone so it's the continuation of a map playlist and yes if you need this channel please like share and subscribe so that you can learn maintain and grow as week together and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates let us proceed out with what the question says so it is if we have done this question of uh, finding the pair sum uh, of, of in the array element with sum equals to k then that's the, exactly the same question here instead given just instead of giving up just integers we have fractions here right so given a list of fractions represented as two lists numerator and denominator the task is to determine the count of pairs of fractions with sum equals to one so for n equals to four you are given four fractions the first array denotes the numerator and the second array denotes the denominator right as you can see in the output they have mentioned test two and the explanation is that you can consider this the first indices that is one by two right with two by four which sums up equals to one similarly two by six that is the third index and eight by twelve sums up equal to one right so what we can do here is one two three, so let me just copy down the test cases on the board okay so the brute the brute force technique would be what that we check all the possibilities we can just use two nested for loop and we can check the all possibilities whenever we find that the numerator by denominator uh, uh, where the first fraction with the second fraction if sums equals to one then definitely we will do answer plus plus right that would be our brute force technique and what would be the time complexity for this approach it would be n square right because we are iterating for one every every element we are iterating each the other's element right if you look at the constraint if i look at the constraint the constraint given here is 10 power 5 right and since we are doing n square so 10 power 5 square would be 10 power 10 right and the solution is only accepted when you code your approach in less than equals to 10 power 8 right so this 10 power is definitely greater than 10 power 8 and even if our code and approach is right we will get the tle right so what will happen when i when when i will have, at this point i will check with this this and this right and i can clearly see that this will be giving an answer this will be club this and here answer one correct when I'll be at this pointer, I will check with these two and I will get my pass koi aisa fraction ka sum 1 nahi hoga, right? Phir mein jab is pointer pe hoonga, then I will check with this last element, I can clearly see 2 by 6 plus 8 by 12 will give me 1, so answer plus plus again. And now it is 2 and at last we will return the 2, right? So that's the very, what to say, our naive approach, a brute force approach. Please pause this video, try to code this approach and then we can move ahead with the optimized one. Okay, so that is the code in Java. I don't think a walkthrough is needed, but still, yes. So we have a for loop here. And uh, since uh, we are considering the fraction, right? So maybe at some point that uh, uh, the fraction, uh, it, let's say this 1 by 10, right? So it, it, it's not completely divisible. And it will, if I do in the maths, it would be 1 by 10 is 0 0.1, right? And to store those values, we have this double data type. So that is what I have done here. And then I nested for loop to check for each other value. That is i plus 1 to less than n. And if n1 plus n2 is equals equals to 1, that is a fraction 1 plus fraction 2 is given equals to 1, then definitely we will say that count plus plus and at the last we will say return count. So let's compile and then we can clearly see that the test cases would be passed. But when I hit the submit button, we will get the TLE for some of the cases. Let us verify that as well. And then we can move ahead. So out of 1, 1, 2, 1 cases, uh, 1079 passes and rest of them give us the TLE because for that, the, because the constraint, uh, maybe uh, maybe not. Uh, it must been have been that our code would have been getting the outbound of ten per eight. Okay. ठीक है. तो हम इसमें कुछ और कर सकते हैं यानी यार. Can we do something better? Can we work something smarter? तो अगर आपने क्वेश्चन कर रखा है कि let's say fraction को भूल जाते हैं. Let's say हमारे पास कुछ elements दे रखे हैं twenty, thirty, forty, fifty and ten, right? अब मैं पूछूं कि अब मैं को निकालना है इसका sum fifty let's say. राइट right? हमें को पेयर सम निकालना करेक्ट बट अभी मैप पे नहीं है तो हम 20 को पुश कर देते हैं सिमिलरली फॉर i 1 व्हाट वी कैन सी 30 नाउ अगेन वी फाइंड द नेगेशन नेगेशन इज नथिंग बट व्हाटएवर द सम यू हैव बीन गिवन जस्ट माइनस जस्ट जस्ट माइनस इट फ्रॉम योर करंट एलिमेंट सो 50 minus 30 सो so, मैं देखता हूं यार 20 गिवन है मैप पे प्रेजेंट है क्या हां तो उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या है 1 सो so, डेफिनेटली 
my answer would be the frequency of this 20 so answer is as of now 1 then for i equals to 2 what will happen we have 40 मैं चेक करूंगा क्या मैप में 10 प्रेजेंट है नहीं अभी नहीं है राइट सो ओके सो फॉर i इक्वल्स टू 130 वुड आल्सो बी पुश्ड एंड फॉर i इक्वल्स टू 2 10 प्रेजेंट नहीं है तो नो इंक्रीमेंट इन आंसर एंड देन 40 वुड बी पुश विद द फ्रीक्वेंसी वन सो फॉर i इक्वल्स टू 3 व्हाट विल हैपन इट इज 50 एंड आई विल चेक 50 माइनस 0 0 इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट राइट देखो यहां पे हो सकता है 50 खुद सम 50 बना रहा है बट हमें पेयर चाहिए लाइक दो एलिमेंट्स चाहिए दैट इज व्हाई वी विल चेक कि 0 प्रेजेंट है नहीं अगर प्रेजेंट हो तो अभी हम कहेंगे कि ये i इक्वल्स टू 3 पे भी आंसर प्रोसेस होगा एल्स नॉट I equals to 4 क्या है हमारे पास? वो 10 है, right? तो 50 minus 10 कितना होता है? 40. So I will check for 40 in the map. Is it 40 there? Yes, 40 is there with the frequency 1. So I can say my answer previously it was 1. Now it will be 2. Correct? And you can clearly see the pairs that are forming is this 20 and 30 and this 40 and 10. Right? Let us assume there was an like extra 20 in this array. So for I equals to 5, what will happen? We will find again the negation that is 50 minus 20 that will give us 30. Uh, simultaneously, since we have processed this one, then I will push the element 10 with frequency 1. I will find 30. If it 30 is present, there's 30 is present the frequency one. So again, answer would be incremented, and the answer would be three for this whole array, right? And uh, what is the pair? What is the pair now? So 20 and 30, 40, 10, and then 30 and 30 is also matching, making a pair. Correct. So the same thing, the same thing we will do for uh, this question as well. So let's say we have uh, the mm, what to say, free uh, uh, numerator and denominator as one by three, two by three. 2 by 3 and let's say 1 by 3 right this uh, all this fraction are, uh, itself in the lowest form but in our question in lowest form let's say 9 by or let's say 3 by 9 hai, right then what we can do is iska lowest form kaise nikal de? iska jo highest factor hai abhi yaha pe 3 hai 3 1 se 3 3 se 9 and i can say the lowest form is 3 so what we actually did we find the highest factor that is we find the gcd of num and denom denominator right and then we divided the numerator and denominator by this gcd that is very uh, basic maths i hope that makes sense to you that was very basic maths so we have no improper fraction de rakhao. sorry if you have number de rakhao, jo apne lowest term so we will take the gcd and take the division and take the lowest term so now let's see how logic can be done so 1 3 right so i will check that 1 minus 1 by 3 is present in my map as not right so as of now map is empty and i can i can clearly see that 2 by 3 is not present so i will push my current element that is 1 by 3 right then i'll go for 2 by 3 and i will again find the complement that is 1 minus 2 by 3 which i'll see 1 by 3 is frequency can be 1 right so 1 by 3 is the frequency one so i'll say answer plus plus so answer here is 1 again 2 by 3 comes and i will push the 2 by 3 with the frequency as 1 again 2 by 3 comes the negation will be 1 minus 2 by 3 that is 1 by 3 and i will check how many how many uh, frequencies of 1 by 3 instances are there so it's only one so i will again increment my answer and answer will be 2 now again 1 by 3 the last element and i will check 1 minus 1 by 3 is nothing but 2 by 3 so how many frequencies of 2 by 3 so at this point we need to increase this frequency as well so how many instances of 2 by 3 present it is 2 right so in previously the answer was 2 now 2 plus 2 will give you as 4 and if we see that what are the instances actually forming so first of all this is forming then we can say that this is forming then we can say that this is the group and this is the group right so there are four pairs we can clearly see that right so the only problem that we can face while coding in java that how we store this thing in the data structure like how we implement the map in this case so what i am saying is let let, let us impl implement the map of map that is map integer and then again map right of the form integer and integer correct so what i am saying is that let us store the the first thing was 1 by 3 with frequency 1 right so i will store the key value would be 1 the key and the value would be again a map right and i will store here the denominator that is this 3 and this frequency as 1 correct so this is this is indicating nothing but that we have a fraction 1 by 3 with frequency 1 right similarly i will let me show you the other dry run as well so 2 by 3 ke liye kya hoga pe? we will check key 2 by 3 right and we can clearly see that 1 by 3 is present here's so answer so 2 by 3 would be stored as how 2 3 and the frequency is 1 right so this is indicating nothing but the fractions 2 by 3 with the frequency 1 right similarly again 2 by 3 comes right so i will check that if if in my map this numerator this numerator is present in my key value or not right if it contains key in my map if it is then what i will do i will just I will then check that if the denominator is same, if the denominator is same as well, then I will increase the frequency. Right? 
बट यहाँ पे हो सकता था कि यहाँ पे फ्रीक्वेंसी यहाँ पे जो है नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट लेट से हमारा होता टू बाई फाइव लेट एस सीन दैट राइट तब मैप कैसे स्टोर होता कि टू हम देखते हैं चढ़ने मोटर का नंबर टू है सो वी कैन स्टोर फाइव एंड वन राइट I hope that makes sense to you, right? But this is not the case in our. We do not have this element, right? So I'm just explaining you that how it is stored. It is getting stored in our map, right? Okay. So let me get you back to the code now. Now, since I have given you an idea that how you can actually store, how you can actually um, code your map here. So please pause this video and try to code this approach by yourself, and then we can move ahead with the code. Okay. So let me give you a code walk through here. So first of all, let us comment this approach, the method one. Okay. So we have an hash map, integer hash map, integer combined. This is nothing but storing the denominator and the frequency of numerator by denominator. This is nothing but the numerator. This is the denominator, and this is the this integer is the frequency. We have already explained, right? So we are now iterating for each and every fraction present. So x we are storing the numerator in x and the denominator in y, right? We are finding the GCD now. How the GCD is getting calculated? We have done it multiple times in our pure history that how the Euclidean. This is a this is the optimized Euclidean algorithm, right? So let me just show you a very quick dry run so that you can just uh, memorize if you have let's say forgotten. So this is five. Of fifteen and this is b, right? So what it says that copy the b value at this place, and then here what you do you pass a percent b. So five you pass a percent b. So five percent fifteen is nothing but five, right? Then again copy the a value here that is five and fifteen percent five is nothing but zero, right? And if b goes zero, if at any point your b goes zero, then you have to return your a, and you can clearly see that the five is actually the highest common factor for five and fifteen, and that is what here written in the code as well. ठीक है ये बहुत छोटी सी बात थी मैं फिर भी ये बात ट्राइंग दिखा दिया आपको ठीक है so now we are here finding the negation right so uh, we are actually x x comma y में if we have let's say something x com x by y right and we are finding the negation the difference from one so what you can write y minus x by x right so my my numerator or let's say new x value is the new numerator value is y minus x and the new denominator value is y right so that is why the new x is y minus x and the new denominator is y right now i'm checking okay, if this particular fraction is present in my map or not right so i'm checking the first this integer was containing the numerator right so that's why i'm checking the map dot contains my key right if that's the case then we need to check the denominator as well then i'm checking if map dot get an x right dot contains key y if that's the case then what we need to do we need to uh is map mein hum andar jayenge right and we will get the phi value correct theek hai to is map mein hum andar gaye kaise using dot get nx and then we are actually accessing the value part of our map and value is what itself is a map right to humne likha uska get y aur yahan pe hame frequency mil jayega hope that makes sense to you yaar maine bahut koshish ki aapko dhyan se samjhane ka theek hai ab let's say hamare paas koi fractions same numerator ke sath hai to hum kya karenge uske denominator ko push kar denge aur value increase kar denge right so that's what i have done if checking the same fractions have the same denominator push the denominator and value aur value yahan pe kya hai is की वैल्यू पेयर में इस मैप की की वैल्यू पेयर में वैल्यू इज इट्सल्फ अ मैप राइट आई होप दैट मेक सेंस तो हम एक नया मैप बना रहे हैं राइट right? ताकि हम उस वैल्यू जो मैप रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं वहां पे एक मैप पुश कर सके राइट सो वी आर मेड अ न्यू लाइक मैप बना नहीं रहे हैं एक्चुअली वी आर एक्सेसिंग दैट मैप यूजिंग मैप डॉट गेट मैप डॉट गेट करने से क्या होता है अगर की पास करो तो वैल्यू एक्सेस हो जाती है बट वैल्यू इट सेल्फ इज अ मैप तो स्टोर कहाँ करोगे एक मैप में स्टोर करोगे सो दैट इज वाई हैश मैप इन टीचर एच एम यहाँ लिखा है ठीक है अब इसमें हमें वैल्यू पास करना है ठीक है Uh, मतलब वैल्यू इंक्रीमेंट करना है फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर वाई तो वही वही करेंगे एच एम डॉट पुट वाई डॉट गेट और डिफॉल्ट ये वाई है तो उसमें प्लस वन कर दो अगर नहीं है तो जीरो ही छोड़ दो राइट मैं कोड इसलिए समझा रहा हूँ यार कि हो सकता है एट फर्स्ट ग्लांस आपको ये समझ में नहीं आया कि डेटा सक्सर समझ में तो आ गया ड्राई रन बट एक्चुअली इंटरनली कैसे वर्क कर रहा है राइट तो वो जानना भी जरूरी होता है ठीक है और मेरे को लगता है कि आप मैं जब ड्राइवर आपको बता दिया हूँ तो यही यही एक कारण हो सकता है कि आप कोड नहीं कर पाओगे शायद Not exactly sure, but हाँ हो सकता है In else cases, what we need to do, we just if uh, there's a new element, we just need to push it in the map, in the map, right? जो भी हम current element को process कर रहे हैं उसे हमें map में push करते जाना है, correct? ठीक है तो हमने एक नया map बनाया for pushing it into the value side of our map MAP. हमने एक नया map बनाया HM के नाम से उसमें हमने denominator को push किया उसकी frequency one डाली and then we we push that uh, map. Into the a larger map, right? ठीक है, I hope that makes sense. और ये else case तभी तभी काम करेगा कि वो fraction पहली बार हमें दिखा, उसकी numerator पहली बार हमें दिखी हो, ठीक है? 
एंड द लास्ट जस्ट टू रिटर्न द आंसर ठीक है यार तो कंपाइल रन करते हैं मैंने बहुत समझा दिया आई डोंट थिंक इससे समझाया जा सकता है ग्रेट लेरस हिट द समिट बटन नाउ so as you can see this code got submitted but can you analyze the time complexity by yourself and definitely ye submit hua hai to iska jo time complexity hai in terms of mathematical numbers must be less than 10 power 8 right so chalo iska time complexity analyze karte hain humne jo for loop use kiya that is we are visiting each and every elements so o of n to yahi lag gaya we are calling for every element a gcd function right to so gcd function ka time complexity kya hota hai log of minimum of a comma b right to agar aap dekho to dekho hum kya pe modulo pass kar rahe hain right matlab ek particular number ko modulo se decrease karte ja rahe hain to definitely log of That particular number हो गया अब ये किसके लिए काम कर रहा है जो मिनिमम है उसको हमेशा डिक्रीज कर रहे हैं राइट तो दैट इज वाई लॉग ऑफ इसका इसका टाइम हो गया ओ ऑफ लॉग ऑफ मिनिमम ए कॉमा बी तो और यहाँ पे एन तो इसकी ओवरऑल टाइम कॉम्पिस्टी क्या हो जाएगी ओवरऑल टाइम कॉम्पिस्टी वुड बी एन स्टार लॉग ऑफ मिनिमम ऑफ ए कॉमा बी ए कॉमा बी इज नथिंग बट दी फ्रैक्शन एंडोमीटर एट एवरी इंस्टेंसेज ये हो गई इसकी टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी राइट अगर आप एन को यहाँ पुट करोगे टेन पॉइंट फाइव then definitely 10 power 5 went to log of minimum of a comma b right to so, a comma b ki range ka ek bar ye bhi dekh hi lete hain numerator and denominator 10 power 9 hota hai uska right hmm to ab yahan pe isko 10 power 9 kar do agar ab isko solve karoge to definitely less than 10 power 8 aana chahiye tabhi hamara code ho gaya hai submit what would be the space complexity we are storing the each and every numerator and denominator let's say a fraction in a map so it would be o of n correct That is it. Let us end this video here. Okay, the C plus plus code is remaining. Let me show you that. Okay, so that is the C plus plus code. I don't think a walkthrough is required here. हमने वही same की same काम किया जो हमने जहाँ में किया था. तो यहाँ walkthrough मैं नहीं दे रहा हूँ. And let us hit the submit button for this code. Then we shall end this video. Okay, code submit हो गया यार. आप और do not worry. Like you will get the source code in my Uh, description link. If you last thing, you can start and fork my DSL repository to get help with the source code, and you can connect me on Instagram or LinkedIn wherever you want uh, for any guidance uh, for any guidance or doubts if you may have. And let's meet in the next video in the next uh, uh, great question. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye, and take care, guys.